Okay, today I'm going to do a blood draw on a goat. Well, my daughter's gonna do blood draw on her goat and I'm gonna do a blood draw on a cow. Uh, the reason being is both animals are hopefully pregnant and there is a lab that can check for the right pregnancy hormones to tell us if they are indeed pregnant. Um, it does require blood sample to be sent in. So I just thought we'd go over real quick um, how we do that. We get a red top tube. It's a vacutainer. It's under, pre under vacuum here so that it wants to pull the blood through. Um, you have to have a special needle that is double-sided and a hub. This is the way we do it. You can also just use a syringe and draw the blood out, but I find this easier. Um, so the way this works, first of all, is I'll take my double-sided needle. I'll be careful, there's a needle on both sides, so you wanna be really cautious. And we pull this part off and it goes on this hub. Okay, we screw that onto the hub. Okay, now this is the part that the tube will go on when you're ready. Now you don't wanna poke it on there now because you'll lose your vacuum out of the tube, it'll suck air in there and you want this to be under under vacuum. So ideally what you wanna do is sort of just set it in your hands so that they're together. So when you get this part into the goat's neck, um, now you won't lose that vacuum until it actually hits a vein and it'll pull the blood through. So you'll poke it into the neck, then once you're inside the goat, this, this end of the needle is inside the goat and not in the in the air, <laughs> um, then you'll push the, the, the red top tube onto the needle underneath, okay? We also, just for safety, um, and it does make it a little easier, we'll use um, some rubbing alcohol on the fur. It's winter time right now, so the, the animals are kind of fluffy. And so we'll use that on the fur here so that we can kind of see the, the, it'll clean the area too, but so we can see the vein bulge up. And that is a trick that we use. You can use water too. It'll help just kind of mat the fur down so you can see the, the blood vessel swell when you put pressure down here. But um, I prefer this because it's also, um, cleaner, right? It makes it so we're hopefully not dragging some cootie into the goat's bloodstream. I almost knocked my camera down. Sorry. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Dakota's gonna be the one doing the blood draw. Um, I'm gonna be holding the goat. So remember not to, this doesn't have the little rubber bumper on the end of this needle. It's one of those. I, I know like that. The I like the rubber bumpers better too. But anyway, all right, come here, Rosie Gozy. She keeps eating the wire off the chicken pens. She's like, I'm, I'm, I'm. <laughs> Are you being a pill? Come here. This goat looks very pregnant. She's huge. This is more just for my peace of mind. But so what I do is I'm gonna hold her carefully off to the side like this. And we'll just talk about it first. So make sure you're not, you can't be in front of the camera. So right, it go, the blood vessel, basically there's a kind of a notch right here. So this is, this is the goat's trachea, right? And underneath that is her esophagus, her esophagus where she swallows. This is their air tube. And then you put pressure right there She burped, but it's, it's right in this in this um, uh, valley there. So if I put, hang on, let that go. You can kind of see it come and go. So go ahead and spray this up there. Hang on, Rosie. She's like, oh, I know what's going on. Yeah, you know, huh? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh no, not that. Okay, so as you can tell, they do not enjoy it. They don't like this, right? It's you know, but it's not that bad. It's no different than us getting our blood drawn. Put pressure there. We do this a few times just so we can visually see what we're after. So it's see, right there. right there, Dakota sees it. So, all right, go ahead, Dakota, if you want. Get your stuff, sit still, Rosie. So I've got pressure on it. You see it there, you want me to let it go one more time? See it swell down? Easy, Rose. Mm -hmm. Yep, so let it swell back up. Nope, nope. No. You're a big girl now. Bro, stop No it. fussing. No fussing. I know you don't like it, I don't blame you. It's right there. Wait, wait, let me get it full. If it's full, it's much easier to hit. Oh, it's coming Okay, out. there you go. Go ahead and put it in there. That's the problem with the ones that don't have the rubber stoppers. Yeah, I forgot about that. Stay still. It's okay, okay Rosie. scoot back your hairs in the way. So see, she got it. It's filling up. We let it, it's okay, Rosie. Go ahead. It's stuck. Take it off. Good girl, Rosie. Well, that's I gross. Know. Yeah. The rubber stopper ones are nice because they don't let the blood just come out the bottom. Yay, good girl. Oh, very nice. Don't rub it on her. Here, rub my pants. Boy, Rosie doesn't want it on her. Rosie doesn't want it on her. It came out of her. I mean, yeah, I know. Good she girl. 
Which is Bart. Get him to All right, so here, you take, I'll switch. Give me the blood draw, the blood sample. You take the goat. Come on, Rosie. She's like, a big, like... big belly. All right, now, the next thing that's really important is to make sure the needle's not sticking up, is to, uh, in this case, because we're sending in two samples, we want to uh, label the sample. We don't want to get it mixed up with any other samples because what if one comes back pregnant and one comes back open and we don't know which one was which, then we're really no further ahead than we were before. So I will put the goat's name on it, Rose. And at the bottom, I will put my name on it so they can keep my sample and my paperwork together. I don't know if you can even see that, but I've labeled it Rose. And ideally we'd want more blood than this, but this is gonna work for a blood, for just a pregnancy test. It doesn't, they don't need all that much. Um, anyway, and uh, next we're gonna go ahead and go over and get a blood sample out of the dairy cow. All right, so for a cow, you have a much larger animal. Um, you have to, you know, be aware of safety. You wanna make sure that she's tethered down secure so that you don't get smacked with her head or run over or kicked or anything like that. So I pretty much got her locked in her head gate here. Um, her head's pulled off to the side with the, with the rope and her blood vessel is really obvious. See it right there? See it bulge up right here? And I let it go, it goes back down. So it's right here in this groove. So what I'm gonna do is... Nah, <laughs> she's like, no, no, no. Yeah, right in her feet. All right, so here we go. up under here. Can you see it at all? Good girl, sorry. I'm sorry, pretty girl. All right, so hold it on for there for a second just to kind of keep it from bleeding too much into her tissues. Good girl. And there we go. We got a blood sample from the cow as well. Now we'll let her go and we can label this this vial, make sure we get her name on there, my name on there, and we can send these in and see if everybody's pregnant. Okay.